the Biden administration doesn't seem to be showing signs of that, you know, not towards Iran, not towards Venezuela, Cuba, and so forth. But by doling out sanctions like this, have we kind of painted ourselves into a corner? Well, we always have. Look, sanctions have never worked um, in, in, in modern history. But generally speaking, um, governments and the people they rule come together when they're sanctioned. We saw that with Iraq. We saw that with Iran. We've seen that in Russia and China. Any nation sanctioned by the United States only strengthens the resolve of that nation to stand up and, and, and oppose what the United States is doing. So the United States has painted itself uh, into a corner. And I don't see the Biden administration nor any American administration walking away from the sanctions tool because it's the lazy man's tool. It's it's <laughs> cheap diplomacy. Um, you know, you don't have to work. You just sanction. Um, and, and, and that's what they're going to do. I mean, you'll see, even if they come back to the JCPOA and lift the sanctions that were supposed to be lifted, you'll see that the Biden administration will seek to find new uh, venues to sanction Iran outside of the framework of the JCPOA. This is what the Obama administration did, and this is what made the Iranians angry, is that this is not supposed to happen. But the United States doesn't care about the rule of law or yeah. agreements. They only care yeah. about furthering American uh, national security prerogatives. In this case, the prerogative is that Iran's nuclear program must be constrained by any means possible.